Now, to officially inaugurate the first Global Airport Leaders Forum, I have the great honor to welcome on stage the conference patron, His Highness Sheikh Ahmed bin Said Al Maktoum, President of the Dubai Civil Aviation Authority, Chairman of Dubai Airport, and Chairman and Chief Executive of Emirates Airline Group. Your Highness. Sabah al khair, Jamian. Good morning, everybody, Your Excellencies, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. On behalf of the Dubai Aviation Industry, I welcome you all to the Global Airport Leaders Forum 2013. For those who are visiting Dubai and the UAE for the first time, I extend to you a very warm welcome. I wish you a productive and enjoyable stay here in the UAE. It gives me an immense pleasure to see that so many mysterious industry representatives from all over the world have come together under one roof here in Dubai. As a member of the aviation industry, we are all aware of the vital role we play as enablers in helping people to connect. I congratulate the organizer for this event, for doing for the global airport industry what it does for millions of travelers each year. The coming together of the great mind often gives birth to a wonderful idea and valuable solution that benefit one and all. It's no concern that the UAE bid to host the Expo 2020 in Dubai is based on the theme Connecting Minds, Creating the Future. I'm hopeful your participation will lead to far-reaching positive challenges in the airport industry worldwide. The role of the airport hub as facilitator of the business and economic development is well documented. And according to the study connect, conducted by the Oxford Economic in uh, 2011, aviation here in Dubai support over 250,000 jobs that represent about 19% of the total employment and 28% of the Dubai GDP. This is the basis of our continued investment in the airport infrastructure. And currently, we are committed for over $8 billion for the ongoing expansion of Dubai International Airport. We are confident that this investment will pay a huge dividend. In fact, by 2020, aviation's contributing to our economy will grow to about 20 to about 44.5 billion US. And it will create also more than 372,000 jobs. Airport leader, therefore, play a pivotal role. An airline will time, want timely and cost-effective infrastructure that will support their growth and profitability. Passengers want and expect a seamless and a pleasant experience. And our commun communities want us to connect them to the rest of the world. Ladies and gentlemen, going forward, we have an opportunity to drive, to, to deliver even more. And we must cooperate more closely with the stakeholders across the value chain, both on the ground and with the customer immigration and ground handlers. And in the air with the airlines and the air navigation service providers 
to ensure our aerospace is open up to meet the growing demand. And we must leverage and we must leverage a new technology to enhance the customer experience, and we must find ways to tap into renewable sources of energy to limit our carbon footprint. For footprint. All of this will contribute to a profitable and sustainable industry. And aviation connects people, it connects business, it brings culture together, and lay the foundation for trade and commerce. Airports and the people who run them are vital link in this chain. And I urge you, to, you today to take this advantage of the conference to exchange ideas and develop a new solution to age-old challenges. Thank you all.